Hello grade 9, it's me again, Ma'am Joy S. Allen, your speech teacher. Before we are going to start our lesson, may I invite everyone to please feel the presence of God as we watch this video as our prayer and for your reflection.
Our lesson for this week is about the art of oral interpretation and effective communication. For our objectives, we have number one, define the meaning of oral interpretation and its importance. Number two, deliver lines with proper body techniques. And number three, read a selection with appropriate vocal and facial expressions and the correct gestures. Let us proceed now to our lesson proper. So I have this question. What is an oral interpretation? An oral interpretation is an act of an individual or of a group of people who shares with an audience. It is also a process by which words are pulled from the page of given dimensions in a reader's voice and body. And it involves the performing of literature allowed to communicate meaning to an audience. Here are the importance of oral interpretation. First, it shows critical and interpretative skills. And second, it shows ability of the students to organize their ideas and express them with effective language choices. Here are the ways on how to be effective in oral communication. For you to become an effective oral communicator, you must have a clear and correct enunciation. What does it refer? It refers to the manner of uttering articulating or pronouncing words next you must use your body techniques effectively effective communication does not only depend on voice but also on non-verbal body language Next is the adequate projection. What does it mean? It means this is the control of volume, clarity, and distinctness of the sound for greater audibility. Next is phrasing. What is phrasing? Phrasing is the grouping of the words within the sentence into groups. Rate in speech. It refers to how fast or slowly a sentence or line is read. Next effective way in order for us to become a good oral or effective oral communicator, we must use our body techniques. This refers to a nonverbal platform wherein messages has been transmitted from one person to another. And one of these body techniques is the facial expression. This refers to the eyes, mouth, and other facial movement, and they should reflect the thoughts and feelings of the speaker.
Next body techniques is the gestures and movements. Gestures are the use of motions of the head, hand, limbs, or body as means to express an idea. And movement, these are actions made by the speaker from one side to another side. Another body technique is the poise. The poise is a manner of bearing of someone who is sure of oneself. It means being calm, assured, and acting with self-confidence. Next body technique is the posture. What is this posture? This is the characteristic or bearing of the body. This includes on how you stand, on how you sit, or walk. For your activity, stretching activity, you have the direction from the given lines below those one and say it correctly with the given facial expressions and submit the output video in your BLMS. So you are going to choose one line and then you are going to de demonstrate it by your facial expression. And for your show you know you have true or false. For your beyond the lesson, you have to recite the preamble with appropriate vocal and facial expression and the correct gestures and submit your output in BLMS. And that's all for this week and thank you and have Thank you and have a great day.